Hi guys and welcome to another Surface RT quick look video and in this video I'm going to investigate in a little bit more detail the problem I showed you previously whereby it was very difficult to sometimes reply to a YouTube comment because of um, a situation whereby the browser seems to struggle with on-screen mouse events so for example if I press here you can see that the reply button let me just do it again you can see that the reply button appears there, but there's no way to actually press it because if I press on it, it just disappears. And if I hold down there, you can see that it appears, but then it immediately disappears. Now, I plugged in a mouse to prove that if I am using a mouse, it works as it normally would do. So the mouse is now over the um, comment button and the reply button is there and I can click it and that's fine, all well and good. So it's proof in case that it does work, but there doesn't seem to be enough support for the touch capacity of the browser. Uh, let's go to another example which I've just recently discovered. If I go to the BBC iPlayer and as you can see I have these most popular ones here and if I press on it I would expect it to go to the uh, page and play the video but unfortunately if you can see it just quickly brings up a kind of highlighted box but then it doesn't do anything. I have realized that there is a bit of a workaround I can do with this one though. If I zoom in, if I press on the words themselves and then leave it for about a second it will then pick up that I'm trying to do a link like that and now it's going to jump to the page but again it's another situation whereby the browser just isn't quite working as a touch uh, as a touch screen. I'll show you a game with a mouse it's a lot easier if I mouse over it the box appears and I can quick click on a link, no problem. Now, this is so far an annoyance, but if I try it on something like Facebook, then it makes something such as trying to play a game through Facebook completely unusable. If I go to, when it comes up, I go to Words with Friends, for example, and um, we will try and play a move when the screen loads up. It, it does demonstrate that uh, Flash works very well within the browser because in most tablet browsers this would be completely unplayable. But I'll just go to one of the games I am playing. You can see that it's dealing quite well and I, I, I can see a few things. However, Let's say I want to put some of these word letters onto the board. Well, obviously I would press to pick them up. But as you can see, it just scrolls the screen instead of me picking up these buttons, picking up these tiles. So I can't actually move them onto the screen. So, unfortunately, without a mouse, I can't play the game. So, it's a, a bit of an annoyance. And I don't know if there is a fix out there or whether Microsoft are going to fix this because uh, Internet Explorer is the only browser we have at the moment and it's a little bit not fit for purpose if you don't have a mouse. There have uh, been a couple of occasions so far where this tablet, as powerful and as adaptable as it should be, it's actually hamstrung the tablet side of it. Uh, I've noticed this in the HDMI issue that I've got and also in this issue, so it's a bit of a frustration and it's more a uh, bad negative marks for the Surface RT. But I will keep trying, keep finding out new things and experiencing new things and picking up all the good and bad points of the device. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon in another video.